know, I don't. The, one of the biggest criticisms of this list is that there's no criteria, and you know, I just want to go back in time and see what you think about this. In 2012, Iggy Azalea made the list. She was she was the first female who ever made the list. But a lot of people felt like they should have put Azalea Banks up there. What did you think about that last? Uh, not last year, but the year before last. Um. Well, like as far as rapping skills, Azalea Banks. Like, I mean, one thing, I don't think Iggy has any skills, so is that, as far as rapping is concerned, I mean, I'm not a big Azalea Banks fan, but I'll get credit with credit, because she can rap. Um, so as far as rapping is concerned, she definitely deserved to have that spot um, instead of Iggy, but it's pretty obvious that it was the right pick, because as far as success, like career success, like Azalea Banks, she doesn't really have much of it. Uh, while Iggy, on the other hand, is out here winning awards, uh, well, um, damn, so, I mean, that was a good pick, actually, by XXL. They had good foresight on that. All right. Let's what's go your back? Back? What's your Man, I think that she's an industry plant. I don't think she, I don't, I don't, I don't really, I think they just, you know, they found her. She was a, a model trying to make some tracks, and they were, somebody said, oh, we got a six-foot blonde. We can make her into the biggest rapper in the game if we do it right, and, you know, that's what they did. They put the money behind her. It's just that simple. But I want to go into uh, 2009. I want to back up a little bit further. In 2009, that cover did not feature Nicki Minaj or Drake. And according to articles that I read on TheGuardian.com, it said that Nicki and Drake were promised the next year's cover, but they declined. Yeah, XX, uh, they really dropped the ball because, you know, there's no way that they didn't make that cover. They were the hottest team. And they obviously had the best career out of those. Other artists, even though it was a great, I think oh nine that may have been the best cover I think because I think it had like Charles Hamilton and um, Kid Cudi. Yeah, Kid Cudi was on there. Wale, Wale. So I mean, it was a it was a pretty good list. Oh, Bill, yeah, it was a pretty good list. But I you got to put Drake and Nicki. I want to say Nipsey was on there too. Yeah, I know. Uh, I think the next year had like J Cole and Big Sean and all that, but that was a good cover too. 